Hey guys, Mimi and Dave here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I got a couple of stories to tell you that actually o happened over this week. And there are a couple of funny stories now, but pretty much not fun um, when they happened. So let's get right to it, okay? Okay, so this first story is about my thumb. Right now it's currently actually a little... A little bit still split open from the incision that happened, but what happened was DJ Outdoors, he had his crankbait fishing hook on his fishing pole, and we also had a basket full of dirty laundry. He ended up turning the curb, he ended up turning a corner a little too sharp on Bundy Lane going to my parents, and um, the laundry basket ended up falling on the hook which ended up catching on his shorts. So my mom actually got one side of the fishing hook out of the shorts while the other was still out. By the end of the day, I was trying to prove myself and help him with the shorts and tried to get the fishing hook out. So what happened was I tried to rip the fishing hook out of his shorts, but what happened instead was that the shorts, or my hand slipped, and so the shorts and the portion that my mom covered up with the tissue was removed. And uh, hooking my thumb and the doctor said that it actually wasn't the fatty part of my thumb. It didn't get near my bone, the bone of my thumb, so thank goodness. So we got there around 10 p.m. And got out around 2 in the morning. And I ended up missing work the next day because I had to uh, take it easy and take antibiotics. Which I've been kind of neglecting, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll have pictures posted at the end of this video of what happened to what my uh, injuries look like right now. Alright, stick around for the second video. I meant to say story, not video. This is all one big uh, video, pretty much. My next story is on my knee. So we went to Big Splash on Monday in French Hook, and it was very fun. Probably one thing that wasn't so much fun was the fact that I actually had to pay twice to get into the park because I wasn't given a receipt. I signed a receipt, but they didn't give me a copy of my receipt to get the wristband. So that wasn't really fun paying $49 twice. Oh well. It just, things happen. And, um, yeah. So what happened to my knee was the fact that we were actually, we were actually a big splash and we decided to wrestle around the pool. Not supposed to do that. Oops. We didn't get in trouble, but, um... Hap what happened was uh, I was pushed underwater, I guess, or dunked underwater. DJ Outdoors, who was on top, pushed me a little bit too far down, and I ended up on the bottom of the pool, and I scraped my knee off the pool. So it was starting to bleed a little bit, and then we actually got some antibiotic cream and a Band-Aid from one of the lifeguards, so that was good. Um, it still hurts. I'm not taking anything for it right now. I just have antibiotic cream, uh, and I've been using paper towels and pecking tape, which was not a good idea because I actually kind of have um, a blister on my leg now because of the pecking tape because I tried to rip it off my skin. So yeah, um, I'm definitely accident prone. I'm not going to lie, but still getting better day by day. So, I hope you enjoyed these stories, and, well, don't go near your friend's uh, fishing hooks, especially if they're treble cleft, because the barbs got stuck, in, the barb got stuck in my thumb, and uh, don't wrestle around in public pool, especially if you know that the pool has a rough bottom uh, finish on it. It hurts. But yeah, thanks for watching my stories, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!